Hello and welcome to, uh, it is calendar season. So this is the uh, 2024 calendar tutorial video. So today we're going to show you how to use uh, the calendar template we built. This calendar is specifically set up for uh, people in Alberta. We've used the Alberta statutory holidays in Canada. Uh, but of course everything's editable. So if you're watching this from outside of Alberta, you can uh, make some edits and make it your own. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, visit our calendar templates page. And uh, we're going to go find our calendars. So we have a couple options. The most common one is the 11 by 8.5, but we do have a version that's exactly the same. Uh, you don't need to watch the video again uh, to do it, but we have a square one and we have a, uh, a taller one, 8 by 10. So we're gonna, all you're going to do is you're going to hit uh, Use Template. This is going to open you up a version of our template just for you um, in Canva. The only catch is you do need to have a Canva account, which is free. The Pro account is $14 a month which is a bit better if you need to import any clip art or some extra features. But if you're just putting your photos into your calendar, you can just use the free account. Um, so go ahead and use template. So there you go. We're right into the template. I'm already have an account, so it, 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 it got me right there. And what we have is we have a uh, what's called a 13-month calendar because there's uh, 28 pages in a booklet. First thing I recommend doing, by the way, is uh, get rid of this long file name. So I would I would call it, um, you know, uh, Little Rock Calendar. And get rid of the size too, 2024. Give it some sort of name that when you have the file on your computer, you know what it is. It was going to be this long, kind of drawn out one. So the process is quite simple. Um, you're going to, um, this is the front cover. So this will be the outside of the calendar. So what you do here is if you want to change the photo out, you just delete the one we got. And if you have your own photo to upload from your computer, you would just hit upload. And any photo that uh, you have uploaded, that you have on your computer, you can upload here. These are just my uploads. Um, but let's say, just for the sake of argument, because I don't have any good calendar uploads, um, you can also go to what's the photo library. So you could say, um, Let's do a theme this year of, I mean, ours is a wildlife calendar, but let's say you wanted a theme of um, oceans. So picture of ocean. So you can just put ocean to start with, and you can find a beautiful picture of the ocean. Bring it into your thing here. So there's two ways to make it fill the space. You can either drag the corners, right? Uh, or you can actually just right click it and you can go set images background and then that'll kind of take it and do what it wants. Now everything that is on here is movable and editable and totally customizable. So maybe you like that and you want to bring the front of this to the center. Uh, if you want to keep those things together, you can group them. Uh, now if you're having trouble getting that purple line to show up like that, um, you can always, uh, let's see here, we can drag it to the side and go position. And if you hit center and middle, it'll put that right in the middle, but maybe we don't want it right in the middle. Maybe we just like it centered. So we'll bring it up until we're happy, right on the horizon maybe. Boom, now you have your calendar template for 2024. You got the cover ready to go. Next thing you do is you're gonna go find page uh, two, which is the inside of the calendar, uh, which will be the first photo displayed for January, 2024. So uh, again, nothing really profound here. You delete out the photo we have in the template and you bring in, again, you can upload a photo from uh, your computer. And in this case, I'm just gonna use stock photos. So we can put uh, the sunset, uh, right click it, place background. Now, if you don't like the way it is, double click it and you can maybe wanna make it more to the left. Maybe like it like that. That's a good way to go. So we don't have any titles on the photos, but one thing I notice people like to do is they like to uh, name it. So the best way to do that to keep the font the same is grab one of the text elements like New Year's Day, uh, Control C or copy or whatever you like, and then bring it over to uh, the photo page. And you can make it bigger a whole number of ways. I'm just going to do this one, make it bold. And let's say you wanted to name your photos. Uh, let's go, 
pretend like I took this photo, so we'll call this uh, San Diego. Uh, Brian took the photo, or San Diego um, Beach, or whatever you want to name that photo. You can do that there. If you feel like you're a little zoomed in, by the way, we can zoom out. Uh, and again, you can change the color of that font. You can try and find something that stands out. So San Diego Beach. And now you can name that photo there. Now, the only thing with words is you have to, you can't get them too close to the edge or they're going to get cut off like that. So make sure that you're kind of up and in there on this, uh, as that box displays, that's pretty good. But outside of that, you can do whatever you want with it. So there you go. So San Diego Beach. And then uh, we have all the stat holidays here in on the calendar. So January 24 is ready to roll. But if you're the kind of person that wants to put in like uh, family birthdays, again, um, control C or copy. If you want to add in um, Cindy's birthday on Wednesday, July 7th, just copy what you have there. Double click it and go Cindy's birthday. And now you have Cindy's birthday on your calendar on the 17th. It's a bit of work, but if it's worth it, you can uh, go ahead and do that. Um, one thing more to show you here is um, if you copy this heading that you've done on the first photo, uh, Control-C, Control-Copy, and then you click the photo, page 4 here, and you paste it, it'll drop it exactly in the same spot. So that's a good way to make sure your formatting is all the same. So we're going to get rid of this picture here, and we're going to add in uh, this photo of the ocean. And like I said, now that writings are here, so you can go uh, coral dive uh, or whatever you're going to name that. And it's in the exact same spot. So now you're set, you're step and repeat. If there's any holidays you want to add in February, go for it. Uh, and you just basically go through each photo, replace it with your own photo, and you're good to go. Uh, one thing we're going to show you that's new this year, uh, I like just the full coverage photos, but if you wanted to... Uh, put a bit of a collage in or uh, multiple photos, you can do that. So let's uh, detach this image from the background. That's our lamb. If you go into elements in Canva, there's this thing called a frame. So if you wanted to, if you type in frame, they'll have all these kind of frames that you can use. So uh, let's go see all. And let's say you really like, uh, oh, let's see here. Maybe you like this one here. So if you bring this frame in, it's designed as a frame, when we bring a photo and drag it into that frame, it'll perfectly format it. So now you have uh, this kind of neat um, thingy here. So you can maybe drop in uh, a couple things like this. Uh, maybe you want to do, you can do a triple frame like this one. And uh, yeah, you simply just bring in your photos. So let's just keep the lamb. Uh, I'll just bring in a couple of photos here. So it'll automatically scale them. So just kind of get them out of your way a bit. And then you can drop this one in the middle, this one over here, and uh, we'll put this cool photo of that over here. So now you have, you've used the uh, frame element and you can uh, play around with that if you are so inclined. Uh, you get pretty fancy with it. So there's there's all sorts of things you can do with Canva. Let's bring in a title for this photo here. Uh, control C. And again, if we click the uh, overall page, it's going to drop it in the exact same spot if we want to keep our formatting the same. This has landed on a white spot, so we'll we'll make it black, and we'll call this uh, you know ab abstract frame photo or whatever you wanted to do there you go that's it really so you just step and repeat that until you get all the way to the end of the calendar uh, because of formatting the way on a booklet goes uh, it does have an extra page at the end so uh, we always put january 2025 which is the first month of the next year in case your calendar is uh if you're a month late ordering next year's and then again this week you actually use these frames here at the back of the calendar so if you wanted to get rid of these photos, um, again, you can do whatever you want with this back page. Um, 
But if you want to get rid of the photos inside these frames, you just detach the image, delete the pig, and then you just bring in uh, your photo. Some people like to summarize the photos in the calendar. Um, we shamelessly put our Little Rock logo on here. You can certainly delete it. Uh, what I found last year was really cool. A lot of people kept it, which I thought was pretty awesome. So thank you for that. Uh, anyways, so there you go. So we're almost done. Uh, the very, very last step, once you've gone through the calendar and you have it the way you like it, you just need to download that calendar. Uh, we, we need the PDF print file, which will give us a perfect 28 page file. If you have the Canva Pro account, you can download the CMYK version. We do ask you to do this one here, Crop Marks and Bleed. Download that, we're gonna get a 28 page file, and then you're gonna rip over to the calendars page. And if you don't know, now you know at the top here, you can order one free calendar. So now you've spent some time, you have um, built your very own uh, custom calendar, and now, which has cost you nothing, and unless you sign up for Canva Pro. And now you can go to the calendar printing page and you can actually order yourself one free calendar and we'll make a finished calendar for you to review to make sure that there's no mistakes so that your year goes great. Um, so saddle stitch, 11 by eight and a half, that matches the template we did. The default template is 28 pages. Some people do a extra spread for 32 pages. Uh, the, the paper types are the default, 11 point cover uh, is a nice one. Uh, 80 pound text and again you just do you can do one calendars uh, free uh, so we can put one in add it to the cart and the coupon code is listed at the top it's just the word free proof and then if you like that free proof uh, this is where you'd upload the file it's a fairly big file uh, so I won't do it but um, all you do is you click this area and you go to Little Rock you know, that's why I say the name that file so you know what you're looking at and then you put free proof here, apply coupon, and you're good to go. And then if it's a full order, of course, you don't use the free proof coupon. You just put the whole value in. So uh, hopefully that wasn't too long of a tutorial. That's 12 minutes of how to use a calendar in 2024. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you later.